Hello and welcome to the channel. It's your host Mark Antimate here. It's officially three months later since the MacBook Pro, M1 Pro, and the M1 Max MacBooks came out in uh, 2021 at the tail end of the year. I bought this actually on the first date on October 26th when it was released and I actually did an unboxing video for it but I accidentally deleted the data off my memory card so I never got a chance to doing it again and uploading it to the channel but today is the day I'm going to I packaged everything back up inside the box as if it were new just so that I can unbox it to show you what's included and then we're going to go ahead and show you guys what's the deal with this why did I buy the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor inside I do already have two other MacBook Pros this one right here is a late 2013 retina 13 inch and then also unbelievably I even still use my mid 2012 MacBook Pro and it surprisingly works and just the fact that you could just keep repairing it anytime that something goes wrong with it self repair mind you uh, the longevity of it has is just been going and going and going so still using that anyways let's go ahead and put this thing on the floor so that I can open it up and show you guys what comes inside of the box and then I'll show you guys on screen itself how it operates and They'll tell you the whole reason why I bought it. All right, so in case you guys have never seen this before, this is what the box looks like. It's pretty standard Apple, and it looks like just about every other MacBook box that had come before it. Mine is the 16 gigabyte version with a one terabyte SSD, and this is the M1 Pro. 2021 MacBook Pro that I have. This is the baseline model for the 16 inch. But the only thing that I upgraded was the hard drive. I think the hard drive may come in a 512 gigabyte SSD, but I needed a little bit more storage, so I went ahead and upgraded to the one terabyte. But aside from that, this is the base model MacBook Pro for the 16 inch. Let's go ahead and open up the top. Now, mind you, this is not going to look like pristine order because I have been using this computer for three months straight almost every single day. Just again, I box it up as if it's brand new. So here's the computer. It comes inside of this plastic. You just lift up on this and pull it out. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. Underneath it, you have a piece of paper that just protects everything else. You have your documentation papers. Let's see what's inside of here. This is my receipt and some other information from the place that I bought it from Yodobashi camera it's the biggest electronic store here in Japan you have some black Apple stickers this time that way people know that you're a real pro when you put this on them you have a very slim thin operating guide that just shows you some key things how to turn on the computer and whatnot what comes inside of the box the touch ID that's pretty much it and you have some other stuff here probably about warranty but all of this stuff is not so important let's go ahead and put this back inside of here and get this out of the way all right so there's that and underneath that you're going to find your power brick this one is extremely nice and I do want to talk about this for just a moment Let's go ahead and put that to the side. And then you have your USB Type-C charging cable. Comes inside of this thing. And that's essentially everything that you get inside of the box. You get the computer, the documentation, 
the cable and the power brick and these things are not connected and I definitely want to talk about that now before I go ahead and breeze through the OS I do want to show you guys something real quick about this power adapter this is my second MacBook Pro the retina from 2013 and as you guys all know it did have a MagSafe uh, power adapter that you could plug into the side and the problem with this is that one this cable was never all that sturdy and it would either get frayed here on this end or it would get frayed on this end as you guys can see I have vinyl tape covering up all kinds of wires on that so this thing is just absolutely destroyed and it happens so easily and usually once things get to like this point you know you could wrap it up and tape like I have and just get a little bit more longevity out of it but essentially over time you will just have to throw this whole thing away and what a waste it is to throw away the whole power brick just because the cable is so weak and so bad that thing has absolutely been fixed with this new MacBook Pro let me go ahead and show you guys so the cable and the power brick come separate so if the cable was to fray even though it is built stronger we'll get to that if it was to fray all you have to do is just essentially replace the cable and that and you're good to go this goes inside of there and you have a complete power brick this thing is extremely long the cable and it is MagSafe. They brought back the MagSafe, which they had taken away in uh, previous iterations that came out the previous few years for the MacBook. It's it's loose. It's kind of sturdy. I can't necessarily say it's braided, but it's a it's a nice. It's just nice. You could you can look at it and you could feel it and tell that it's quality. But if it was to go bad, you just replace the cable, and that's essentially it. So I'm extremely happy about that. It's not going to get all tangled up just because of the way that it that they made it. So it is so much better than it was before. And wow, kudos goes off to Apple. They fix essentially everything that was wrong with every MacBook Pro that came out over the past decade. So this is like this is everything you've ever wanted. And while we're still here on the floor let me go ahead and open this up so that I can show you guys what the keyboard looks like and essentially when you open up the computer uh, the screen automatically powers on which is very nice but there you go you got an all uh, black keyboard I mean it was black before but it's kind of sitting inside of like a tray now and the the back of the tray is black as well so it's beautiful it comes in other colors other than the uh the steel that i've got from so long ago not too many other colors you either get space gray or you you could get the regular old silver the trackpad is so much bigger than before let me go ahead and open up this this old computer of mine if you guys can take a look at those trackpads, that looks like about 50% bigger than what it was of this 2013 Retina that I was using. So I like to have more real estate like that. And as you guys can see, the keyboard is nice as well. They feel about the same tactile. I know they had those butterfly keyboards or whatever that mechanism was that came out some years ago that was uh, malfunction malfunctioning and people were having to replace that and I guess Apple was doing it themselves to an extent but you know they finally uh, fixed that if they did not fix it in the last iteration but the keyboard is nice everything is nice about this this is the highest quality screen that we've ever gotten on a MacBook Pro before this is just the best of all worlds and you're truly paying for it I mean I spent this is probably the single most expensive consumer electronic that I've ever bought before anyways let's go ahead and turn this thing on and we'll start breezing through the OS 
The other two MacBook Pros that I have were adequate, but they were just not uh, meeting my demands in efficiency and getting things out as quickly as I needed to. I am a professional media content creator. I, I do graphic design. I do artwork on, on the computer. I do photo editing and I do video content creation. I mostly output 4K videos at 30 frames per second. So I do video editing as well. Anything that has to do with multimedia, I do on this computer. Let me show you guys real quick. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. As you guys could see, I'm using a trial version here. Surprisingly, after purchasing this computer, they gave me 120 days free. No, that's wrong. It was three months. So they gave me 90 days free for my trial. And it's, you know, nothing is watermarked. It's the whole program operating to full capacity, but 90 days free. So I'm very happy about that. And when it runs out, obviously you guys seen that it runs out in nine days. When it does run out in nine days, I will buy it again so that I can have the upgraded version for this computer. It just it just works so fast. This is a video that I'm working on that's 4K 30 frames per second. As you guys can see, it's three minutes and 30 seconds in duration. It renders video very fast for my needs personally. What else do we need to take a look at here? I told you guys I do professional photography. So let's go take a look at some of my photography. Here's a model that I'm working on currently. Her name is Nana. And I've taken about uh, 1,800 shutters of her. And out of all those shutters, I would definitely say you know so far i'm i whittled it down to a thousand i still need to get it down like another 500 but i got it down as much as i as i could at the immediate moment beautiful girl here so the photos save quick the rendering goes quick on the video the other reason I bought it is for Photoshop. Do I have anything on the desktop that I can that I can edit like some text or something? I thought I had something here. Yeah, let me plug in my other hard drive real quick that has all my data on there. All right. I just plugged in my hard drive that has all my YouTube stuff on here. Let's go ahead and go to artwork. This is the Mark Antimate channel. Channel design, PSD thumbnails. All right, let's open this one up. This is my template. All right, here we are inside of Photoshop. Looks like I'm going to have to replace this text because I don't have those fonts on me, but it's okay. We don't necessarily need that. Let's just replace it with whatever. And let's title this. "2021 MacBook Pro M1 Pro. And let's call it. made a mistake there three months later I'm messing up all kinds of stuff there we go that's the layer that I want and we could change this to something beautiful and we'll change the the picture in the background a little bit later but this is this let you guys see what this looks like I want to find out what font Apple uses. What font does Apple use in their keynote presentations? Mm. 
Myriad Pro called Apple Myriad, okay? I don't think I have Apple Myriad, but we probably have Myriad Pro. Oh, it's already on. Nice, so there's that. So there's that. Let's go ahead, save a copy of this. On the desktop. And let's call this Apple MacBook thumbnail. It stopped doing it recently, but before I guess before an, an update hit, I was having some trouble opening up a file. So for example, if I go back to my photos, let's see, this one, Nana Coconuts here, right? You click on a photo and you right click it and I wanna open with something. Every time I would click the Photoshop option because I do want to open this particular photo with Photoshop, you know, I would click it and absolutely nothing would happen. But it seems to have fixed itself over time, so I guess everything is all good on that front. No complaints, but yeah, just really small bugs like that I would pop it to every now and then, but nothing major. They all seem to be getting sorted out, and if you were to purchase it, don't think that it's going to hinder you in any type of way, uh, to be honest with you. Maybe a quick uh, restart might do might do it for you and fix it for you. But yeah, I haven't had too much trouble and it just executes things that I need to do so much quicker than what it did before. I mean, compared to my other computer, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, I could just render out videos so much quicker. I can get batch photo edits done so much quicker. When I'm actually editing photos, like let's let's open this back up again one final time. And I'm just cycling through photos. Sometimes there would be lag inside of there where I just could not circle through the cycle through the photos quite quickly. It would lag. And if you did any type of edit to the photo, when you click on the next photo, it would be blurry for a little bit. And then after a second or two, then the whole thing would come into uh, full resolution. So you would have to click on the next one, wait two seconds, wait for it to get into full resolution before you can actually start to judge anything like, did I get the eyes in focus or anything of that nature? Now, when I cycle through the photos, the next one is in focus and full resolution instantaneously. Let's go ahead and zoom in there. You guys could see the eyes are in focus on that, so everything is good. I'm very happy with the way that it operates. Everything is nice and smooth. It works It works absolutely flawlessly for my needs. Let's go ahead and cancel out on that and close this. So, am I happy with my purchase? Yes, I am. Would I recommend you guys get this? If you got a computer that's like from... 2018 2019 2020 maybe it's still too new to like see any real significant gains but if you've been using a computer for like a decade like i have it's just it's absolutely time and necessary for you to upgrade if you're just buying this just for consumer content like just to look at Instagram, which you're probably looking at that on your phone anyways, but if you're looking at YouTube videos or watching Netflix or something like this, this is too much computer for you and it's just way too much money. You don't need to spend that amount of money just to get into this consumerism. If you're doing real big, heavy, intensive graphic work, like you need the batch edit photos, you're working on 4K videos, 8K videos, 4K, 60 frames per second. Your videos are like 20 minutes long or longer. And you just, you need your workflow to go faster so that you can output more within a week's time. This is definitely going to help you with that. So I would definitely say go ahead and buy it.
completely happy with my purchase. This computer cost me so much money that I just I leave it in the house as it is now. And this really old computer from 10 years ago, this is the old computer is the one that I take out to Starbucks with me in case I am to spill a Frappuccino or something on it. But yeah, I don't want anything happening to this for a long time. My old computer, I dropped it from a standing height, maybe about four times. Still works unbelievably. It has dents all over the body where, where you can see where I've dropped it. But yeah, it still works flawlessly, but it's just so ugly. I don't want anything like that happening with this. It's a long story why I'm dropping computers. It, it wasn't necessarily all my fault. It was, a, it was a bag that I had. So anyways, there's that. All right, I think I rambled long enough. I thank you guys for watching. I think I said what I needed to. It was just a very quick video just to show you what it looks like inside the box, show you guys the operating system just a little bit. It it looks like and feels like what you're used to, but it's not quite the same. There is one more thing. I'm not sure if I have any music files on here. Yes, I do. This is a very small complaint. Before, you could click on an MP3 file, right? Like I got this one highlighted called Digifunk. You come over here, there would be like a little circle inside the middle where you can click on that circle in the middle and you can sample the track. They took that away. Why would you take that away? I mean, the thing is supposed to be bigger, better, badder than it was before. Why are you taking away small things? So there's that, but it's not a big complaint. I don't really use this computer for consuming music all that much anyways but no because sometimes you know i'm recording my audio files like i am for this particular video that i'm making now my voice and sometimes i would like to click on the preview so that i can hear my voice and make sure that that's the correct file or make sure that the audio levels are correct make sure that it's stereo just whatever reason i might want to click on it and listen to it they completely took away the, the audio preview, so I don't know why they would do something like that. Let's click on Customize. Maybe I can fix that? No. No, that's not there. All right. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, because I am back on the scene. And I want everybody to know that I am the master. We're going to be talking about Apple goods. Maybe uh, the next video, I bought the, the Beats Fit Pro. Haven't even opened it up yet, but I'm going to open these and talk about these in the next video. So I got good stuff coming over new things, old things. I got, I got old things I want to talk about. I do old computer repairs for these old MacBook Pros and stuff. I want to show you guys how to get those things under wraps so that you can take care of any type of problems that you have with that. Just small things like that. This channel is going to be all encompassing of electronic gadgets and just whatever the hell I feel like talking about that day. But mostly about consumer products. Anyways, again, I thank you guys for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you hated the video, click the dislike button twice. And I will see you guys in the next one. And until next time, peace.